for this last video. Okay. First, I'm going to wait for that god to turn around. Okay, I think that was it. Yep. <clears throat> Let's actually head back into the water and grab one more water around the way. Something, uh, yeah, this way. And further onwards. Yep, we are heading back to the chapel area. But we shall be not entering the chapel itself. But. Hmm. And we on the safe side, I'll wait for him to turn around as well. Yeah. Doesn't really give enough opening to go back, go sneak here behind him. I suppose you could hide in the shadows in the middle of that hallway, but. We'll pull the tongue, this tongue here. And that opens this grating here. And we are in for a rather lengthy dive, so I shall be doing the a forward strafing diagonal slightly faster than going straight trick. And there's also a bit of a current to fight against. Come on, Garrett. You can do it. Yes. Oh. Hmm. There's a teeny tiny red potion in there. I think this might actually be the first time we've seen one of those. It does exactly what you would expect. It's basically air in a bottle. For those lengthy... ...dives. And there's a guard over there. And he actually has the last... ...pocket to be picked. Please don't notice me. Thank you. Here it is. Five healing potions. That's a fair amount. But what is this strange area where we are in? Doom. Doom. I'm a giant. Doom. 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 defeated by the immaterial house. And that's not all there is to see here. Just go behind the dam and down into the pipe. Oh no, is it is going to be another sewer level. Well, well a, a bit of yes and a bit of no. 
um there's a plot ring there and what is this it looks like a cleaver and a knife but They are huge. <sighs> yep. Now we are tiny. I'm a squeaky little mouse. I'll just go hide behind the table leg. The first time I came here, this place managed to screw with my sense of proportion completely, and I did this. After which that happened. So let's not do that. Oh yes, it's also worth mentioning that this area along with that tiny area is something that was added to the Thief Gold release. To head up there, we shall need ropes. There's one. I don't think one is long enough to cover two shelves. I hope I can... Yeah, that's a good hit. Okay, is that... Okay, good, I can grab this. Oh, let's see what we have here. Um, I guess these are supposed to be plates, but that stone texture makes makes me think more of sieves. Ah, oh, and here we have a. Is this a? I think this is a kettle. A water barrel. And to get back down, I'll just grab my rope arrow. Is it? Yep. We shall just jump back into the water. And I'll do the same to grab that. I'll have to repeat that to get, get my other rope arrow back. Splash. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, this is a table that's uh, that's actually a bit looks like a bit too large to be a stool. So maybe it's a small corner table and a handy dandy pail of water. Which has mushrooms growing in it. You know, you should clean this. How long has this water been here? Stagnating? Oh no, maybe Garrett's, Garrett's going to catch malaria here. Um, hmm. Okay, some more shelves here, but let's <coughs> explore this area first. <coughs> uh, this is... Um, yeah, that fire is going to hurt and there's nothing in there. So I do wonder... Is one water arrow... Yeah. Yeah, this is too big to be put out by water arrows. And... Huh? Intriguing. This fire is actually completely harmless. Huh. I suppose I never did test... Try that out before. Ah, I've learned something new today. And, uh, back to the business. Namely, getting up there. All 
so how am I, how am I going to get back down? I should probably leave this rope around here. And there is indeed a guard there. I'll just grab this moss from this piece of cheese. Right. And this is too far off for the guard to see. Now oh, he's down here. Well, you know, all, all sorts of things get to get lo tend to get lost behind the cushions, like this die, which is too large to pick up, and uh, a slice of pizza, and this enormous coin, which is actually stopping me from walking forward. But Garrett can pick it up all the same. And that was actually the final loot from for this mission. And look, a lollipop. Mm. <coughs> Hairy. Now, how am I going to get? <gasps> Back up. Well. Was fairly easy. How am I going to get back down? Hold on. Um. Hmm. That might work. Come on, grab it, up rope. shouldn't have done it in this order since it seems that I actually need to get back up there to get onto the shelves. Shelf is, or oh, shelf is metal for some reason. Oh yeah, I can. Now oh, you can see that more clearly there with a slightly more light. Weird. But then again, what isn't in this place? <coughs> there it is. Apparently, holding a two meter white gold, two two meter white gold coins in his. Well, at least we'll still have that water to jump into. Well, nothing on the lower shelves, either of them, and here's uh, another rope, so I don't have to shoot my own. Oh. Oh look, it's a pin cushion, I think, with one, two, three row arrows. Uh, uh, uh. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't make references like that. I've already had multiple people saying that I sound like Dracula, that's just encouraging them. And I'm stuck on something. What if I climb over here? Ah, 
And look at this, it's a matchbox. Now to see if I can climb out. Good. I remember that sometime causing problems. Okay, now... Uh, whoop. I think you can steer yourself a little bit in the... While falling down in the air. Um, where did this come from? Was it here before? I guess one of the needles fell down. Oh yeah, and uh, well, there's a painting and I realized I didn't show... Uh, I thought there were like pictures on the mantelpiece. Mm, but I... I think those were just, just just used regular painting pictures. Uh, or do I remember wrong? Oh, save and then reload. Those are just paintings. Well, that's the living room and... Wait. Who has a kitchen sink on their, in their living room? And there's a... Well, I guess this is... still doesn't make sense. Constantine is such a rich guy and you'd think he could afford to make a se put a separate kitchen. <clears throat> right, there's a guard, but we should be able to put enough distance so that we can just run past. But that's at least a good, one good thing about this area. It's not difficult to put distance between Garrett and the guards. Now to get up there, we need more rope arrows. Who would have guessed? This metal also? No, it's not. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to leave some rope arrows behind. Oh, goody. This wasn't too close to the wall. Mm -mm. Now, can I drop? down there without getting hurt. <laughs> nope. Where did I save? I should jump from the second rope to the table. low enough to grab again without getting hurt. Um, now to 
tabletop must... Yeah, that's stone. So, I do not need to get to the top of the back of the chair, just... Say, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Hmm. This is Constantine's private retreat. <gasps> you know, I'm starting to think uh, Mr. Constantine is <gasps> more than meets the eye, even though we haven't seen him yet. And we cannot read these books, and I show. Wouldn't have wanted to meet that Burek while it was alive. Hmm. Ah. And goody. I think I actually might be able to get all the rope arrows back. And that's... whoa. Fiddly rope physics. For once, that was useful. Oh, there's two guards in this area. I'll just go past you guys, okay? Oh, that's the door. And... Well... That's a mouse trap, all right. Are there mice or rats here? Oof. That looks like a mouse hole. But we are not going there yet. We have a chest to plunder. And oh my, what a huge chest that is. I just want to dive in there. Hmm, how do we go about this? Well, with another rope arrow, of course, but I was more wondering where it would be best, best to put that. <gasps> oh, good. Um, I'm going to need another rope arrow to get down without injuring myself. Rope or broad heads. More rope arrows. And some noisemakers. Hmm. Oh, ooh wee. Now to see if I can get back down from here. Ooh. Yes! Ha ha! seems to have turned around. Well, I don't think there's really anything valuable up on the bed, but I still want to show that. Yeah, see? There's a spider. Oh, there was a moss arrow. And there's another spider. spider. Oh, another moss arrow. Get it? The bed bugs. <laughs> oh. And that was another sweet landing. And now to the rat hole we go, or is it a mouse hole? I was not aware that mice were so vertically inclined. Did I just make a pun without realizing? I mean, with inclination can be used to denote the 
an angle, I think. I'm sure one of my viewers can point that out. But in the meantime, let us do some vertical movement. And thus Garrett ascends to a higher plane of existence. Or something. Up, up and away! Thank you for not falling down so far. Just checking, there's nothing on these levels yet. Oh. Huh. By the way, nine rope arrows. Probably the most we are going to see in Garrett's inventory through the entire game. And where does this lead me? Is it... well... I don't know. Ah, it leads, leads to a red button. If I press this, is it going to launch nukes? Well, that was disappointing, but I'll take it. And now we are... Um, well, this looks familiar at least. This looks even more familiar. So we are... Here. Hmm. I can hear sort of more footsteps than I should. God, but another god just went that way. So who's who and what are their patrol routes? Okay, he's going to turn there. So the other one. Or did I? Oh great. He's stuck. Hmm. Well, let's hope he's not going to see me. Hey, you're over there! He did. Well, now let's hope that loading this will get him unstuck. No, it does not. Next try. Aha. Come on now, come on. That worked. Yoink! Where are you, you harper? And now it's just a run back out of here. Um. Hmm. I think it's enough to get out on the balcony here now. Don't have to drop down. And I was correct. Let's take a look at the stats. All the loot, all the pockets picked, and nobody got hurt. 
That was the sword. Next time, something else.